Now, is there an actual science to getting luckier? Find out in this video today. Yeah. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Hey there, guys. How's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy, and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today, I'm talking about luck, how to create your own luck using science. And it's been known that luck is almost like a state of mind, a certain frequency of openness and expansion and oneness and direction. So first of all, you got to understand it's a frame of mind. It's a state of mind. Maintain it and believe in yourself first and foremost. Okay. First of all, you can ask yourself how important it is for you to actually be lucky. How important is it for you to actually be wealthy? How important is it for you to actually achieve your dreams? You see, a lot of us, we don't maintain our discipline or our willingness simply for the fact we don't make it important enough for ourselves. If you have the desire, if you have the focus, you're gonna find a way to get there. It's as simple as that. Sometimes we also gotta cut ourselves off from people that make us feel like we are unlucky, okay? It's much more of a vibe thing, right? So go on a bit of a social media detox. What I mean by this is unfollow certain people that perpetuate the fact that you're not making progress, that make you feel less than, that constantly keep, uh, keep you in this paradigm or this storyline that I'm not good enough, that I'm lucky, that I'm bad, that I, you know, that there's a lot of self-help channels out there that actually perpetuate us to stay in this guilt trip or this, this shame attacking spiral. So the best thing to do really at this time is to preserve your luck, to maintain your luck by reminding yourself of your luck, to perceive that you are lucky. The people who consider themselves to be lucky end up being more lucky, okay? It's as simple as that. So if you simply decide today that I'm lucky, thank God I'm lucky, thank God I'm lucky. Oh, and reframing the bad luck, okay? It's not only about the good luck, but how can you reframe the bad luck? Let's say, you know, bird poops on your head. Oh, I think that bird likes me, you know? <laughs> Something like this. You, you gotta find a quick way to reframe the negative decisions and situations in your life because it has been shown that lucky people are a lot less neurotic. They have a lot less anxiety, okay? So if you want to be more in your luck, you're going to have to practice relaxation, practice you know, meditating, be more in tune with yourself, meaning you are more intuitive as well, okay? So trusting your gut, trusting your hunches, trusting your intuition. Richard Wiseman, which is a great name, right? He's a wise man, says to connect the dots, like connect the patterns of your luck and keep a luck journal where you actually track the times that you were lucky or you got the probability in your favor. Life coach Lara Galinsky says, it's more about actually claiming and declaring your luck. So it's pretty much like setting an intention that you're going to be lucky at the start of the day the end of the day there's a very big power to intention it's been shown that fruit fly larva grows 30 percent faster with positive human intention that's wild how we can change nature around us just based on our intention on them the watcher of our eyes transforms this thing, I mean, it's been shown with the Emoto water experiment too, but this is very interesting to us, right? Where we can actually change other people's lives by being in the perception of luck. The more you network, the more you connect with other people, you'll notice the luckier you're gonna get because you are your circle of people that you're around, that you're connected to, yes? You're connected to this channel because you wanna get access to this flow state frequency, you see? So it's all about the networking. Network creates your net worth. We've heard that a dozen times but it's a difference between acting on it and actually reaching out and networking with people than actually sitting back and being more of a consumer. So luck comes down to your decision-making skills, okay? A lot of successful people that I know, they're very fast at decision-making and they're very fast at learning from their mistakes, okay? The failing forward method. There's preparation, 
then the, in the middle there's timing and then there might be regret if you act too late in a sense so it's not about too less information it's not about too much information but it's about absorbing the right amount of information right the bruce lee mentality absorb what you is useful discard what is useless and add what is uniquely your own we can't take luck personally right we can somehow maneuver it influence it make it more likely and increase our chances of probability however if we put so much focus and control over trying to be lucky pushing and forcing and manipulating the physical world to try to get our way we're just shooting ourselves in our own foot right we're, we're just basically cutting off the circulation to our power it's this perceived self-efficacy that you really want to note this perceived self-efficacy helps you to understand why you're becoming more lucky and why certain people just seem to have this winner's effect where their dopamine testosterone is is just constantly on this upward swing because they expect themselves to win because they engineer their minds to believe that they're worth it that they deserve it and other people also reinforce those ideas around them right their environment and things like this so if you live in an environment where everyone's bad mouthing you and everyone like doesn't believe in you and they're not really giving you the support that you truly deserve guess what you're gonna be pretty unlucky at least in this perceived self-efficacy you'll be unlucky because you'll believe yourself to be unlucky not the fact that you are so the older we get the more we know and lucky people you know they will take chances to boost their intuition so they'll spend more time in mindfulness and like savoring the moment you want to get this feeling of arrival like i'm here i'm already here um it's already now i've already got it it's already mine okay that feeling of the law of assumption you want to really embody this feeling of arrival I've got here. It's not I'll be happy when, it, it is I am happy then. A lot of people note this in the case studies that a lot of the people who are the luckiest on the planet, and you see this with a lot of successful people, successful individuals, is when everyone's going one way in their industry, these people, they look at something completely different and they go another way. For some reason, that new uncharted territory creates a similar to that shunya state of like zero point, right? So taking a new route to work, focusing on new images, focusing on new people, situations, the more ex life experience that you have, the more luck that you have. The lesson is very simple. You're not here to be Daft Punk. You're not, we're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. No, you're not, okay? You're here to show up to be lucky. You're here to embody luck. You're not there to get it. It is not something that you attain. It is something that you are. When you can learn from the direct experience, which is actually the very basic fundamental of Vajrayana spirituality, right? Is like that direct tantric experience with the moment. It is not through a teacher or these teachings on YouTube that you're gonna be learning, but through actually tapping into flow state with the elements of these golden nuggets that you're getting from this video. How did I get an amazing body in just two months, right? What I did was I just used consistency and self-talk. These two things, relentless consistency and an adamantium self-talk, if you have these two things, you will be more lucky. You will notice your results quadruple. So what are you saying to the universe that you don't divert from the plan? You are showing the universe that I'm in it for the long run. Okay, I'm in it for the long haul game. I'm not here to, you know, instantaneously gratify myself and then forget about it. But I'm here to really adopt the mentality of luck and winning. So it really comes down to your decision making. To really embody and emphasize your luck, you've got to become a better decision maker. End of story, okay? Once you start taking aligned action, when your choices, you know, they match the thoughts, words, and actions, all that, that alignment is when everything starts coming through. You've noticed that when you get more into your spiritual practice, synchronicities start happening, right? You see a bunch of numbers repeating, one, 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 two, 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 all this kind of stuff, right? One could say that this is from more of that selective attention, whatever we focus on grows, right? So if you focus on feeling lucky, not necessarily trying to be lucky, but the feeling of luck, 
when you were the luckiest, when you were the loving and most wisest and luckiest version of you, how does it feel within your body to access that? And this is what you want to try to slowly start to lean into, okay? I'm a flow state catalyst to help you feel and perform your best. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, shoot me an email or shoot me a DM or just comment below. We'll get started working one-on-one -on, -one on this process of really removing some of the flow blocks that are preventing you from really living a life where you're truly in your momentum, your oneness, and your core potential strength in your golden shadow. Let's get it. Upward Spiral Gang, may we never be the same again. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it today, Upward Spiral Gang. Let's go.